I have some feedback for you. Why don't you meet me in my office? Or can you give me some feedback of what you think about my performance? What I could do better? How I can improve? These two situations are the most dreaded situations in anyone's career. Yes, I'm talking about feedback. Whether you are giving feedback, receiving feedback, or soliciting feedback, there's always an element of emotion attached with it on both the person who is giving as well as the person who is receiving. So how do we handle this? And this is the most critical part in anyone's career. As Ken Blanchard said, feedback is the breakfast of champions. Is it so? Then why do we dread feedback so much? We dread so much that we rename it as feed forward or we say positive feedback, constructive feedback. We give a adjective, we give so much positivity around it. There are techniques like sandwich method. You give a positive feedback, then the real crux of your message and then another positive appreciation. All, all of these techniques are being talked about in the leadership circle and management circle. But what is feedback? How do I give feedback or how do I ask for a genuine feedback which will help me grow in my career? When I give feedback, how does the other person receive it? in a proper manner. How do I create a feedback rich culture? When I talk about coaching culture, feedback is an integral part of a coaching culture. When I talk about high performing team, feedback is an integral part of a high performing team. When I talk about creating psychological safety in a team, feedback is an integral component of that. So such a critical topic, so much of material available yet poorly understood, one is wanting more. And when the rubber meets the road, all that we have learned does not come to our help. We are still wanting to practice this skill in a more authentic, more genuine way. The reason is our intent always does not result in the impact that we desire. So how do we bridge this gap? Getting to know more about this subject, going in depth, finding out what makes a feedback truly valuable and powerful tool. What are the techniques that are out there which can be learned and practiced by all. What I need to keep in mind as tips to give a impactful feedback and how do I build a feedback rich culture? All of these answers are found in the recent book that I read, Feedback Decoded by Neil Akandan B. He is fondly called as Neil and he was kind enough to send me this book. This is not a sponsored video. Let me be very clear. However, I'm, I could not control my temptation to bring you this essence of feedback through this book. I leave the link in the description below. I'm sure you will find this book very enriching, informative and lot of practical wisdom. Neil has included conversations that happened in his real life. He just have changed the names of these people and may have brought in certain elements to drive home the point really well. All of these examples strike a chord with, with all of us. And uh, lo behold, Neil is going to be with us on this channel very soon. I would like you to share your questions, comments, anything that you would like to know more about feedback and I would take it up with Neil in our upcoming conversation. Thank you so much. In case you like this video, please do share with your friends and a sub would be great. Thank you. Until we meet again, signing off. Bye-bye.